Hey, what's up you guys? John here. Hope you're having a great day and in today's video I want to tell you about how I hold my pick. This lesson is going to be about how I hold my flat pick, you know, just a typical straight guitar pick and I can do another video if you guys are interested in talking more about how I use a thumb pick or just straight up finger style. But what I've found over the years of trying a lot of different ways is a way I think that is the most versatile way to play the guitar. Working in LA as a professional guitarist, I have to be able to play a lot of different styles. And I think that as diverse as the people are here in LA, we have people from all over the world, so is the music. So literally one night I may be playing with a blues band, the next night it's jazz, then it's country, then it's singer-songwriter, then it's maybe some Brazilian stuff. And so I want to be able to switch between all these different styles and have my guitar techniques be able to flow between all these different genres. When I first started out, I was just playing with the straight pick and you know I played a lot of rock and roll and classic rock that got me going but as I got more advanced I started getting into what's called hybrid picking which is where you use your pick and fingers. So the first thing I want to talk about is that I use the pick and I hold it between my thumb and my index finger. Now there are times where I will bring in my fingers but most of the time if it's like let's say it's like a funk groove and I'm just going <laughs> That's going to be with just the flat pick, just grooving away like that. Now sometimes I will bring in the fingers, maybe I'm playing a blues thing like... Or maybe I'm playing something more like... So you see there that my fingers are coming in. and I'm pinching strings together and getting this hybrid sound. So being able to hold the pick between the thumb and the index enables me to use these other fingers where I think it was Eddie Van Halen that held it this way and that was because he was doing the fret tapping which is again cool for that technique so I sometimes will do this if I'm doing harmonics you know like this kind of thing. Which I have another video on playing harmonics. You can check that out. Just Google, you know, Chet Atkins harmonics, John McLennan. But um, so most of the time there, it's between the thumb and the index. Now, when I would use my fingers, let's say that I was playing just finger style, but I wanted to transition to the pick at some point in the song, what I did for years was go like this. Now, I know some great guitar players that do this, but what I've found is they don't play a lot of finger style. Because what you'll realize when you do this, like let's say you're playing with your fingers here, something like that, right? Is that you're minus a finger. So you're using this finger to hold the pick, but you can't actually play with that finger. And not only are you minus a finger, you're minus a really good finger, which is your index finger, which is used a lot if you're playing finger style. So again, for about probably eight or nine, maybe 10 years, I was doing that, you know, and just always if I had, so, oh, I'll play with my fingers and now like this. This is again, before YouTube and all this stuff, you could really, you know, access tons of videos of seeing people play and analyze their techniques. And so that worked out, but again, I wasn't very good at playing finger style and I didn't have a lot of options. Like, let's say that I wanted to play a jazz tune, like the girl from Ipanema, right? And I was going, <laughs> And then, of course, later I wanted to be able to solo and have the pick handy because I couldn't finger pick as fast as I could play with a pick. So, again, you're minus that finger where if I hold my pick like this and what I'll do is put it between my uh, index and middle, then now I can use that finger. Where before, I'd be... Unless I brought in my pinky, which... You know, most people, a lot of people don't pick with their pinky where I actually rest with my pinky. I will use my pinky for dragging or certain harmonic techniques, 
but most of the time that that finger's anchored down. So this enabled me to be able to get four fingers and play finger style, which can be cool for a lot of different styles. I mean, R&B. Like maybe, let's say I was taking a tune like, isn't she lovely? Isn't she lovely? If I was holding it like this, I would be minus a finger. So again, that was, or like this rather. Now, a lot of years I spent doing that, so switching to this felt really awkward. So I know this may sound a little crazy, but what I did is I walked around like during the day holding a pick, because what would happen is I would drop my pick, and the last thing you want to be doing is like, you know, looking on the floor for your pick in the middle of the song. <laughs> and so I had to get used to holding it like this and then using those fingers. So what I did was just walked around like during the day with this pick and it took me like a few days and then all of a sudden it's like now I got it. I can, I can you know, hold it between my fingers and play and not drop it and then be able to switch back, which is another thing, right? So you have to be able to go from here to being able to play a solo with it. So if I was doing Isn't She Lovely, you know. And then, now I've got the pick. So it's being able to be versatile and being able to have a system that gives me a full sound, like I can get four fingers here, and then I can go to the pick. Another thing that I will do is just play with like my thumb and my index, sort of like a John Mayer. You know, if I want that sweet sound, or I think of Mark Knopfler, right? this sound where he plays with his fingers. And what you'll notice if you use like your thumb and your index to pick notes. And then you go back to the pick. The pick kind of sounds harsh where the fingers get like a really smooth sound, you know? And you get more personality to the note. Give it a try, play with your, uh, you know, picking hand here, picking individual notes, and then go to the pick, and the pick will almost sound bad, it'll sound harsh to you if you play that way for a little bit. There you go, guys, I wanna hear from you. Let me know how you hold the pick, and let me know what works for you. Again, this is what works for me. It might not be the right choice for you depending upon the style of music that you play, but where I'm coming from is I'm trying to think this through and say, okay, what's the most versatile way that I can cover a lot of styles and have a technique that's going to be able to switch between those easily, but also get the sound that I want. Make sure you subscribe for new lessons dropping every day. Also, if you're interested in a free PDF about soloing, click the link in the description below. Also, if you want to follow along with me on Instagram, at John McLennan, I post there pretty much daily so you can be a part of what I'm doing there. We'll see you guys in another video real soon.